What's up, YouTube? My name is Kenny J, and this is Kenny J TV. So as you can tell from the title of the video, this video is tips on passing the insurance state exam. How long should I study for the test? I get this question all the time. How long should I study? And honestly, it depends on how well you take tests and also how long do you have until you have to start working in the industry. So I can speak from my experiences. Personally, I live in North Carolina and that's where I got my original license, my resident license, meaning that you get the license in the state where you reside. So for me, it was four different exams. It was life, health, property and casualty. So I had to take four different exams and it was not easy. Personally, I believe and I know that I am not a good test taker. So it took me more than one trial on all of my exams except for health insurance. For most states, it's two exams. One for property and casualty and then one for life and health. So if you're just going for PNC, there's only one exam that you need to take that's most states. I haven't really heard of many states that do the four different exams other than North Carolina. The biggest tip or piece of advice that I would give is you should study and pass the exam before applying for these companies, whether it's State Farm or it's Farm Bureau, Geico, whoever, because I see time and time again where people are applying for these jobs, they're getting these jobs, and then they reach out to me stressed out because they only have three to five days to pass all of their exams. But for me, when I went into the insurance industry, before I even interviewed, I was already licensed because I didn't want the pressure of me having to pass these exams in one week. And if I didn't, I don't know if I'll be laid off, fired, or just have to not be paid. So I went into it already tested, already passed, and already licensed. So I would highly recommend you go ahead and take that exam beforehand because the pressure of you trying to pass the exam while you're working and now you're just sitting at the office every day studying and you know if you don't pass, you have to continue to do that. So let's go ahead and pass the exam before we even think about applying for different agencies. And if you do apply for agencies before you get all of your license, give them a heads up like, hi Mr. Jones, I have taken two out of four of my state exams. I do plan to be finished in about three weeks, so I would like to start then. So go ahead and be honest and open with them. They'll appreciate it and you'll appreciate it as well when you're not pressured to take those exams. And that is exactly what I did. When I actually applied, I had three out of four. So I was licensed, but not completely licensed. And I told her, hey, I'm gonna be fully licensed by this day. And then I literally started that next week. So it definitely felt good to have all of my license. In regards to actually studying for the exam, I would say each test should take you about two weeks to study for. The first week is you reading through all the information I do recommend you reading the text in its entirety, so reading the entire book, because there are very important sections and very important points that you need to know, and you may have to jot it down because certain things that you read in the book may not be converted straight over to a practice exam question. So when you're taking that real exam and you say, I don't remember studying this, but maybe you would have if you would have read through the entire text. So never downplay reading through the text. I know it's not the most interesting thing. It's not the most fun thing to do, but it definitely is important because you don't want to miss any important points. So the first week is just reading, getting all the information, taking notes. Then the second week is solely reviewing, doing practice exams, reviewing the notes, studying with a partner if you need to. And at the end of the second week is when you should be ready to take the test. I would say closer to the end of the second week, if you do feel comfortable with all the material, go ahead and sign up for the test because now you have a deadline, now you have something to meet. So you know you have to keep pushing and you can't slack off. 
The biggest thing in week two that you have to do in order to pass the state exam is practice exams. Practice exams will get you through the test. If you're reading through all the text and you're like, okay, I got it, I understand it, I have memorized everything, and you think you're gonna go in there and you're going to ace the test, you're wrong. And that's because it's more about the concepts. You can know the definitions all day long, but if you cannot grasp the concepts, you will not do well on the test. And that is exactly what the practice exams do for you. They train your brain to think a different way than what you're used to thinking. This isn't like any test you've taken in school or trade school or anything like that. They really want to trip you up on the exam, but it's because they want to make sure that you know this knowledge. Insurance is a very important field and you're dealing with a lot of legalities when you get into insurance. So you need to know your stuff because you will be sued and lawsuits will be put out against you if you're not correctly insuring people. So that is why the test is super hard and less than 50% of people pass the state exam the first time. So I always say if you feel like you've been defeated or whatever during the first time, don't give up. I didn't pass the state exam the first time. It doesn't matter how many times you have to take the state exam. One of the comments on YouTube said she's going for her 11th time taking the test, but as long as you keep going and you pass, it just matters what you do after you get those licenses. If I took it and passed it the first time and you took it and passed it the eighth time, it matters about what you do after those licenses. If you're out here educating these people and how to protect their assets and educating them on the correct products they need, then you are a stellar and amazing insurance agent. Don't let the test beat you up. It's there to trip you up but I know you will be successful and you will pass the state exam. And when you are studying for the state exam, I always recommend doing it in increments. So for me, I studied for an hour, then I took a 15 minute break. Because if you continuously study and you're reading, after a while your brain isn't gonna be able to retain or even understand the information. When I first started studying, before I started doing the increments, I was studying for two to three hours and I was reading the text reading a page and I was like, what did I just read? I had no idea what I read and I had to go back. So I knew at the end of the hour, I had something to look forward to, whether that's me eating, just getting on my phone, taking a quick walk. It gave my brain time to rest and process what I learned and then after the 15 to 20 minutes of my break, I would come back in and then restart and I knew I had something to look forward to at the end of the hour which was another break and before you knew it, I've studied for five or six hours and I have retained a lot of information. Don't try to cram the night before, that's not gonna work. It's just too much information and people are always like, how do you possibly retain this information? You have to do it in increments, you have to take your time and you have to be thorough when studying this material because it is not easy material to study. And if you are studying for multiple state exams for insurance, I highly recommend studying for one exam and then once you pass that exam, start to study for the next exam. I don't recommend you studying for all the exams at once and then going to take them the same day. Studying one test at a time will give you better results. If you're studying all at once, then you go in there and you fail both of the exams. Now you don't really know what to focus on. But if you just study for one exam and then you struggled on auto policies or you struggled on commercial insurance, you know where to focus on and it's not as overwhelming. So once you pass test A, then go ahead and start studying for test B and so forth. So that is one of the most important recommendations is don't overwhelm yourself with all this material. It is a lot of material, but I know that you can do it. If I can pass the state exam, there is no excuse or no reason why you should not do it. I recommend studying anywhere from three to four hours a night. And if you can't, one to two hours is fine as well. Just make sure you're dedicated and you are consistent. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Kenny J TV. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notification. We are dropping a video every week. If there are any videos that you would like to see me execute that are related to insurance, make sure to drop that below in the comments. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is 
Kenny JTV.